In the age-long battle between faux fur and real fur, faux reigns supreme. If you are on the fence, no worries. We will show you all there is to know so you can make an informed decision between real and faux fur. Stay tuned to find out what could make a real fur coat go rancid. New around here? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe for more videos like this. Now on to 10 reasons why you should only wear faux fur. Money. Let's face it, we are not all made of money. So when it comes to making fashion statements, we tend to try to do it on the cheaper side of things. When looking at whether to wear faux fur or the real deal, the price tag should be enough to make your decision for you. You can find faux fur at most of your favorite stores for as little as under $100. There are, of course, more expensive fur coats as well, but nowhere near the thousands of dollars that a real fur coat will cost you. Trust us, go with faux fur and your pockets will thank you. No harm done. One of the main reasons that people choose to wear faux over real fur is their love for animals. All it takes is one look at PETA's website to see how inhumanely some animals are treated during the skinning process. Just go home and look at your pet in the eyes. Would you ever consider wearing their fur on your body? Then why would another animal be different? Just think about how weird it is to walk around in another being's skin. Gross. Don't do it. Not when faux fur is readily available. Save the animals the pain and save yourself the uncomfortable feeling of walking around in someone else's hair. So many options. Wearing real fur is extremely limiting. Why? Because it's real. Real fur doesn't come in exotic colors or funky patterns because not all animals come in exotic colors or funky patterns. If you really want to express yourself, you should go with faux fur. When you are choosing a faux fur item to wear, the sky's the limit. Almost any color or style that you can think of will be available somewhere. You can even have faux fur items custom made if you'd like. With real fur, you are mostly going to be limited to browns, blacks, and whites. If you are lucky, you can find a mixture of the three. But as far as pink or any other fun color, forget about it. Top Designs Designers are really getting on board with this cruelty-free faux fur movement. In the past, that wasn't the case, and if you wanted something from a top fashion designer, you were probably going to have to wear real fur. But now, designers are becoming more aware and conscious of the hardships that animals go through to be used in coats, hats, and all other kinds of accessories. If you want top-of-the-line faux fur items, you can go to designers like Donna Salliers, Charlie Calder, Shrimps, and more. So, you don't have to give up fashion to soothe your conscience. You can find a lot of cruelty-free clothing, long-lasting. When it comes to real fur, we hope you weren't thinking that you'd be able to pass your expensive furs down to your children or anything. That's because, in reality, those expensive real furs won't actually last that long. Of course, it does depend on the kind of fur. Mink coats may last for about 20 to 25 years. Chinchilla is much more fragile and won't last nearly as long. A good faux fur coat can last for decades. So if you are thinking practically, faux fur is cheaper and lasts longer. When it comes down to it, is there really any competition? We don't think so. Easily stored. There are many rules when it comes to storing real fur coats. Your coat must be hung on a broad, sturdy padded hanger to make sure that the shoulders retain their shape. The neck of the hanger must also be long enough that the collar of the coat won't rub up against the hanging rod. You must make sure that you don't leave your fur in a garment bag because it needs to breathe or else the hide will dry out and crack. You also can't leave any jewelry pinned on your coat because it can mat the fur. If you wear a purse that goes across your shoulder too often when wearing the coat, it could wear any of the fur and leave a bald spot. All you need to do to store your faux fur coat is to put it somewhere dry, much less of a burden. PETA friendly. One of the worst groups to have as an enemy is people for the ethnical treatment of animals, or as most people know them, PETA. PETA is notorious for throwing things on people who are wearing fur. Kim Kardashian got flower bombed by the group while promoting her fragrance for wearing so much fur. The scene was really dramatic and Kim had to be rushed out of the public eye and switch outfits. They also confronted Beyonce at a private dinner in 2006 for her love of fur. They must have a lot of nerve to confront the queen like that. So unless you want flower poured on you, it's probably best to keep PETA happy and opt for faux fur. In good company. If you choose to wear faux fur, then you won't be alone. Lots of models, designers, and celebrities have decided that real fur is not the way to go. 
just look at male model and star of the A-list Austin Armacost. He teamed up with PETA to do a campaign against fur. He said that as a gay model, he was always dismayed that some otherwise progressive people in the gay fashion pack had such a disregard for animals who are skinned alive for coats, collars, or cuffs. Some models also chose to wear gas masks at London Fashion Week in 2016 to protest people wearing real fur. So if you want to be in the company of models and forward-thinking celebrities, full fur is the way to go. Easier care. Have you ever owned a fur coat? Caring for them is the absolute worst. You have to make sure that nothing happens to them. You can't use hairspray or perfume while wearing the coat because most perfumes and hairsprays contain alcohol, which will dry the hide of the coat. Almost any oil can get into the fur and cause it to become rancid. Odors are almost impossible to get out of fur and don't even think about getting wet. If you get caught out in the rain, you have to take your coat to a professional immediately. If you get your coat even a little bit wet, you have to immediately hang it to dry in a well-ventilated room. You must also smooth it with your hand while it is drying. Talk about a lot of work. Easily accessible. Today, people are all about convenience. No one wants to go out of their way for anything. Well, luckily for everyone, faux fur is everywhere. You can get it from almost any store. From Zara to H&M, if you look for it, you will definitely find at least a garment or two. And if you don't want to actually go outside, a quick Google search of where to buy faux fur online will yield hundreds of results. When it comes to buying real fur, you might have to look a little harder. Real fur is usually above a lot of people's price points, so it's not as readily available as its faux cousin. So save yourself the stress and just pick up some faux fur. That's it for 10 reasons why you should only wear faux fur. For more videos like this, check out 10 things fashion realtors don't want you to know.